Hello, everybody. Yes, I'm having some fun here as always. It's my favorite time of year. I absolutely love Christmas and uh, love what we can do to have fun with Christmas, right? So we're going to need a little bit more snow. I know some of you are calling me crazy. David, don't wish for that snow. We live in southwestern Ontario, and really, what would Christmas be without some snow? So, right. So, ho, ho, ho. Welcome to the show, show, show on to episode 162. Hope you had a great weekend. Speaking of the weekend, let's recap some of the things that happened. Downtown Sarnia, Bob Noxious was here at Liquid Johnny's to celebrate their second annual birthday bash at Liquid Johnny's. Also, Distract the Masses there, opening up for Bob Noxious. A sold-out show, myself and K106.3. Very happy with the turnout there. And thank you to Liquid Johnny's also. Also, for allowing us to have the venue there and Bob Knox just distract the masses both doing a fantastic job some of the photographs you saw there thanks to my friend Kelly Mortison for sharing those uh, we're looking forward to the next time uh, got some Bob Noxious news coming up maybe around Christmas time a little bit of a present can't share it with you just yet but that's a teaser Marianne that teaser was for you all right, uh, also the Sarnia Kinsman Parade happened this past weekend. Lots of family and friends out to enjoy all the floats. Uh, Sarnia Kinsman doing a great job, once again, of putting this on. And lots of great participation by people putting the floats in and uh, everybody out there. And thanks to my friend Kerry Belleville for allowing us to share some of those photographs here on the show. And congratulations to the Sarnia Kinsman once again on a successful Santa Claus Parade. All right, well now, let's jump right in. Let's go to the entertainment scene. This week on the entertainment scene, I have been chasing these guys for quite some time to get together. Finally got the interview. They are dressed to kill, and that means more than one thing here. They're dressed to kill because they're taking their music serious, but they're having fun, and they've got a vision of their music. So now, let's go out into the entertainment scene and talk to this local group, Dressed to Kill, and then I'll be back. This week on the entertainment scene, but keeping an eye on these guys for some time, finally catching up with them, and they are called Dress to Kill. And we're going to talk to them right now. And uh, Keel, you're going to take the lead on this and uh, introduce the members that we've got here at Dress to Kill. Well, uh, my name is Keel Simmons. I am the uh, lead vocalist, rhythm guitar. Uh, to my left, we have Jeff Turnbull, uh, lead guitar. To my right, we have uh, Mr. Dean Pichette. On the, the man drums. with the hat. The man with the hat, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and we're missing somebody here tonight as well. Yeah, we have uh, our bass player, Bruce Slavenhook, um, you know, is absent due to family reasons, but, uh, you know, you'll catch him with us live right on. anytime. So. Cool. Well, thanks so much for being here, guys. And, you know, I think one of the most notable things about Dress to Kill is that you've really only been together a really short time, but you've laid a lot of ground as far as where you've played and everything. And not just a cover band, like you really picked your own little genre of, of blues, right? Absolutely. Uh, we are blues fans. We play a lot of blues covers when we play live. Uh, but we also, we're working on our first studio album as we speak. Uh, we have one song out, it's called Tailspin. Right. Uh, and that's, uh, we play that live every time we play. Yeah. And uh, we also, we do um, a little Howlin' Wolf thing that we've done ourselves. Yeah. Um, it's called Evil. We redid it ourselves. Okay. So, you know, though it's just a little tease for the people that sure. actually follow Things us. are coming. We're going to get it here first yeah. on the show. <laughs> Let me ask you this question, though, and we talked off camera. You know, the, the genre of blues, did you kind of think that maybe that was going to limit to where you were going to be able to play? And has it really worked out that way? And I'm gonna I'm gonna bring Dean out here because we really talked about this. Did you did you find that you were maybe gonna limit yourself or d talk about how that worked out? Personally, I thought so. Like I'm a rock guy. I've always listened to rock music. So when they asked me to do the blues thing, I was thinking, man, I, you know, I don't, I don't know. I like blues music. I've yep. been an Elvis Presley fan my entire life. Awesome. So it was kind of like I back anymore. Um, I thought once people hear us. 
and we have some deeper blues, some old South blues or whatever you want to call sure. it. And then we play the more modern stuff like Colin James yeah. and stuff like that. Um, it's a little bit of appeals to everybody. And ultimately, it all comes down to can you dance to it? Can you have yeah. fun? Can, is the energy there? Yeah. And to be honest, and it certainly has shown. I mean, you know, we've got New Year's Eve coming up at oh, Union Station Union Bar and Station. Grill. You had to be excited for that. Oh, Jeff, absolutely. how are you feeling about all of this? <laughs> well, uh, this will be my first time ever doing a, a New Year's Eve show. I played a lot of shows, a lot of different bands over the years, but um, it's great to be doing something different. I think people are really going to love it. They'll be up there yeah. dancing, absolutely. you know. Certainly. We're dressed up, they're dressed up, you know. they going to be for fun sure you guys, and you guys have already proven that you know we talk about the music and everything and you have the look you know not just respect for what you're playing respect for yourself Absolutely. and you're putting on uh, great shows out there i mean you've you've played liquid johnny's already i know they loved you mm -hmm. down there you've yeah. been playing sarnia chatham wallaceburg mm -hmm. uh everywhere in between uh you got to be feeling really good about all of this oh, we're, we're ecstatic actually uh liquid johnny's gave us first fridays february 6th and uh yeah. you guys really uh, have, have showed off some great things here if uh, if people want to find out more about dress to kill where can they find you we have dress to kill on Facebook okay. our Facebook page has all of our videos all of our show dates are always posted there we have uh, right at the moment it's a, a uh, information page okay. but we're gonna develop it into a full sure. scale web page dress to kill .ca which is on the uh, banner perfect. at every right show. Uh, yeah. Thanks so much, guys, all of you, for being Thank here on the much. show. I really appreciate Thanks, your Dave. time. Appreciate Thanks, it. Dean, as well. Uh, DressToKill.ca. And I've got some video here we're going to show. Now, this is uh, not the official videos, but we found some video online of these guys. Take a look at this, and then we're going to go back to the studio and talk more about Dress to Kill right here on the show. Just to kill. Thank, Thank you, you so much for your time here on the show, and we had a lot of fun um, after the interview. I got to hang out for a couple hours with Dress to Kill, and we talked about uh, musical passions and the music industry and just different things, and we had a whole lot of fun, a lot of laughs. They played some of the music for me as well. Thanks a lot, guys, for that. Don't forget, uh, you can see them down at the Union Station Bar and Grill on New Year's Eve. Tickets available down at the Union Station Bar and Grill, and we're going to be seeing some more uh, fun things and more projects in the new year with Dress to Kill. Can't tell you about them just yet. You'll have to keep watching the show for more. Another teaser, yeah. Yes. But uh, Dress to Kill, thanks so much for your time, and we're looking forward to next time we work with you here on the show. All right, let's go out into the community. Tis the season for giving. We should be giving all year long, but it seems this time of year uh, there's some extra need out there. And Miles Vanny, Executive Director from the Inn of the Good Shepherd, is going to talk to us about a special event coming up this Friday at Home Depot and how we can all get involved to help the Inn of the Good Shepherd spread some Christmas love. Take a look at this interview. We'll be back with more. Have a holly jolly Christmas It's the best time of the year I don't know if there'll be snow this week, out in the community, tis the season for giving and an annual event coming to Home Depot in support of the Inn of the Good Shepherd here in Sarnia. And to share all the details with us, the Executive Director of the Inn of the Good Shepherd, Miles Vanny. Thanks, Miles, for being here. I really well, appreciate well, your time. Well, thank you, Dave. Thank you. Tell us, uh, this, is, this is an event that's really caught on regularly for the Inn of the Good Shepherd. Exactly. Um, you know, the folks at Home Depot and K106 have been doing this for over 10 years. Uh, we kind of call it the Tree of Cans. Right. And uh, the food comes in that morning, uh, this coming Friday morning for the Home Depot and uh, fills bins of food and the idea is initially was let's make a big tree all of cans to help those in our community. Right. What kind of demand, I mean obviously Christmas time seems to be one of those times of years that it's uh, really needed, but it's really needed all year. Absolutely, it's it's needed year round. But we we're kind of like squirrels here. We gather a lot of food through Christmas and the spring because we know once 
June hits, donations drop off yes, pretty sure. dramatically. So what's coming in now carries through for quite a while. And it also makes sure that those folks that are struggling, particularly through the winter, right. um, can get food. Uh, if they're having to put more towards their hydro right. bill or utilities or such, sure. then we give out extra food to help help with that because right. it was a cold, long winter last year. Yes, for sure. And it's not just food, though, right? I mean, there's, exactly. there's toys. Uh, you take toy donations. Absolutely. We've clothing. got uh, 300 children coming in a couple days for our children's Christmas party. Uh, we do adopt a family. We've got about 140 families we've okay. adopted. Um, winter coats are so important. Um, um, this is Canada and it's cold. Yes, that's for and, sure. And uh, you know, just after uh, October, we had our, um, our winter coat night, handed out over 500 uh, coats oh, wow. to folks. That's great. So anything like that is really helpful to help kind of alleviate some of that, uh, that for burden. For sure. Christmas is such a, um, uh, as a society, we put a lot of pressure on parents. Yes, we do. And when you're already, you know, to, you know pressure to give stuff to your kids, and when you're already struggling to make ends meet, uh, you just don't have that extra and it makes it very difficult for them. Certainly. So we're trying to ease some of that burden. That's great. Now, what time does the event start on Friday? We're there six in the morning. Six in the morning, bright <laughs> and six, early, okay. Bright and early, right through, uh, well, it'll uh, kind of goes off air at 10 in the morning, Right. Uh, but uh, the folks at Home Depot are awesome. They'll take the donations all okay. through the weekend and we'll pick them up on Monday or Tuesday. Nice, and if for some reason uh, they don't make it down there, what's the address here at the Evening um, Any donation can be dropped off here at the Inn at 115 John Street. Um, we're open uh, Monday to Friday from 8.30 to 4.30, um, but also at any time at the Good Shepherd's Lodge, our shelter on Confed, right. So it's a shelter, it's open 24 seven, and it's easy to make donations there as well. Perfect, very good. Well, thank you, Miles, for your thank time. Thank you very much, and, and Merry Christmas. The event. Merry Christmas to you as well. Let's go back to the studio now and wrap up uh, more about this event uh, coming up this Friday at Home Depot. Oh, by golly, have a holly jolly Christmas. All right, a uh, great year. event for us to all be able to get involved in this Friday, December the 12th, starting at 6 a.m. at Home Depot here in Sarnia. Miles, thank you so much for sharing that information. Miles will be there bright and early. There'll be some musicians there. I believe Chris Molino is going to be there, Eric and Sarah. Uh, I think Dave Chalk and several local musicians are going to be there performing as well. And there'll be some food and hot drinks. And, uh, you know, take uh, some canned goods and non-perishable food items down there. Support the Inn of the Good Shepherd to, uh, to help those in need here in our city. K106.3 will be on site as well, so tune in to K106.3 FM for all the details. Thanks again, Miles, and good luck with the event on Friday. All right, well, uh, this guy is uh, really got something different. If you don't want to go outside in the cold and make a snowman, you can apparently stay in the house and make a snowman. Uh, Mark Russell talks to you about how to make a, a snowman on your phone. Let's go to Haps with Mark Russell. Thanks, Dave. Do you want to build a snowman? This week we look at two different apps called Make a Snowman on Apps with Mark Russell. <laughs> it's winter time again and you're stuck indoors with nothing to do and the snow coming down hard. Well, now you can put that downtime to good use and build a snowman without ever having to step outside. Make a Snowman is the name of two different apps, one for Android and the other for iOS. The iOS version lets you build and save an unlimited number of snowmen. To build them, you select from dozens of accessories to dress up your snowman. There are thousands of unique combinations and you can even change the background. The camera button allows you to share your snowman by posting it to Facebook or saving it to your photo gallery or even emailing it. On Make a Snowman for Android, you build a snowman by drawing his features on using your fingertip. You'll automatically get the right color while you're drawing. Orange in the nose area, red for the scarf, brown for the arms, and everything else in black. You can save your snowman to your gallery and share it with your friends and family. Make a Snowman is the name of different apps available for free on Android and iOS. This has been Apps with Mark Rossman. I, it's, uh, I look forward every week to see what, uh, I don't usually know until about a day before what Mark is going to be doing. So thanks again, Mark Russell, for putting this segment together here on the show. Uh, if you want to talk to Mark, you can send him an email to info at markrussellsarnia.com, and I'm sure he'll have something interesting for us next week. Thanks again, Mark, and look forward to seeing what you're going to have for us. All right, well, it's local time. What's happening in the local area in Lambton County? Uh, you know what you got to do. Put your goggles on and turn up the speakers and... And uh, ho, 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 here we go. <laughs>
All right, well, there's your local entertainment guide for this week. And I want to say thanks to everybody who sends in all their information to uh, keep the calendar full up there. If you want to uh, have your event here on the show, send it to me to the show at davidburrows.ws two to three weeks in advance. So I've got time to take care of that for you. All right, so just a couple of things I want to share with you before we go. Um, the show is now part of what's called the Video Show Network. And the show uh, with David Burroughs is on there. Uh, indie music playlist uh, in beta right now but will be growing if you are an independent musician and has a video you'd like played on indie music playlist you can reach out to me and we'll tell you how you do that some other things going to be being added to the video show network as well so check us out online at tvsn.ca or the video show network.com you can still find me as well at davidburrows.ws so keep an eye out for some of the things that are going to be happening on the video show network don't forget uh, rock and roll christmas show coming up december the 20th. Tickets are going very fast, but still some left. So get down to the Imperial Theatre box office or go online to imperialtheatre.net to get your ticket. It is going to be a fun rock and roll Christmas show. Rock and roll and Christmas together. It's that simple. So get your tickets for that. Also, New Year's Eve, I've been asked, uh, what's going on with you, David? I will be out at the Bad Dog Bar and Grill in Corona this year for New Year's Eve with karaoke and DJ Ann, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Tickets for that event, $15. I uh, call Bad Dog. Uh, there's a number up on the screen and get your tickets in advance. It is an awesome, fun party. So, uh, and uh, we'll be able to find you a way ride right back home to Sarnia, too. We can do that. All right. Uh, that's all the time I got for you this week. Have a great week and an even better weekend. And I'll see you next time right here in the show. Bye bye for now. Berkeley Cloudy, PCJ News. Shh, shh, shh. Do you hear that? Crickets. That's right, nobody's at the shop, and why? Because I haven't spread the word enough. This is, this is all my fault, people, and I'm sorry. Please, please, if you accept my apology, just come in here and buy yourself a sandwich or something. Anything. Come on, people. This has been Bartley Cloudy with the sad, sorry news report. We'll see you next time, folks. Bye.